Hey toy fans, it's Roberto, Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is of Jazzaware's AEW Unrivaled uh, collection and this is from uh, Series 6. It's been out a couple years now I want to say. Um, this is the MGF Tiger and he is number seven, 47 in this series. Um, it's Maxwell Jacob Friedman. He's probably one of the, uh, the cockiest and if not the probably top heel in the game today, or pure, pure heel anyway, you know. Uh, nobody's touching uh, Roman Reigns for for being the top uh, just wrestler today, just in general. He's he's, he's uh, upped his game so much. But MGF, definitely um, really great on the mic and just a, a really uh, awesome heel. He love to hit him, you know. Uh, can laugh at what he says, but he's... He's still 100% uh, jerk, always in character. So it's a uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, kayfabe heel, you know. Um, on the back, the other figures in the wave. And then uh, a picture from, it says Double Art Nothing from Jacksonville, Florida in 2020. So yeah. So uh, that event was a couple years ago today. Um, but let's get into this figure and see. If he's any fun, um, I, I'm i going to bet he is just because the other, uh, I've had a lot of fun messing around with the other AEW figures I got. One thing, if uh, these packages, uh, good luck on keeping them back, putting them back in the package after you've opened them. They, these things just kind of fall apart, I feel. Um, you, might be able to, you might be able to do it, but... I really didn't think they were worth keeping. It's either keep them on the package or get rid of it, one or the other. Anyways, let's see what this uh, MJF uh, has to offer. So he comes with, looks like a couple of hands. And comes with also a microphone accessory, which is pretty cool. Um, since he's always just talking trash on the mic to whoever his opponent is. Um, he's got his smug face, uh, kind of uh, reddish hair. It's got his uh, lion tattoo, and he's um, got like his matching um, wristbands that match his scarf that he always wears. His tights have the lions on. He's salt of the earth. He's got MGF on the back. So it's an older, older version of the of the tights. Um, so MGF on on his boots. His mic. He's got a. Got an AEW microphone, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, neat accessory. The it's got a little five o'clock uh, shadow going there, which isn't too bad. And even uh, the back of his head is looks like it's shaved, like it's got a fresh, fresh cut. Um, not too bad. Yeah, so the figures are pretty cool. Let's see if. What kind of he comes with two two left hands, so and they both look like they're open, which is kind of weird. Oh, he also has the uh, the dynamite diamond ring on there, so that's pretty cool. Um, which he won like two years in a row, I want to say. It's like the the dynamite diamond ring, so that's that's pretty much his at this point. Um, but yeah. You can take out the uh, the microphone hand and just give him a, a grappling hand, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think that mic hand is probably fine. But yeah, if you wanted just to have an open hand, you would have thought that he might have a fist. But it looks like it's just two of the same hands are really close. I think I'm just going to leave that microphone hand in. It doesn't come with the scarf, which seems like a... He should have came with a scarf or something. I don't know. Maybe he didn't wear it that night. But still, um, pretty cool that he's got the ring. 
I didn't notice that in the package, but um, next to uh, what would be his current rival, current AEW champion, John Moxley. Um, he's a bit smaller, which seems pretty accurate. I don't think he's that tall. Mox is a pretty big dude, but um, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, and these figures are, they, uh, they definitely do all the stuff that you'd want them to do for wrestling figures. Got some ab crunch. Looks like a cut on the on the leg there. Double joint knees. They got some elbow pads. Uh, rockers on their on their feet. Um, you can hear like the ratchets when you move their arms. Double jointed elbows and the head. Uh, I guess it moves up and down, but. Yeah, I don't know. You could do maybe some power drivers or something. If you want it. They're gonna they're gonna do all the all the fun wrestling stuff that you're gonna want them to do. I don't know what you do in your toys, but you know, whatever. Mine usually just go on the shelf, but if you're uh if you're gonna play with them in a wrestling ring or something, they they should be able to suffice and do whatever um whatever moves you want. Regardless. MGF is pretty, uh, <laughs> he's a dastardly character. Uh, you love to hate him. Uh, fun to watch. I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to his world championship reign because it's probably going to be tyranny going to bring me back to some of those old, uh, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon power trip <laughs> year long reign. So, but, um, great wrestler, great character. So, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you pick up. Uh, if you picked up this MGF or an MGF figure or any of these other of the uh, Jazzwares AEW on Rival collection. Um, they're pretty good. I like them. Uh, they scale pretty well with the Mattels. They're a little bit bigger, but still, yeah, they're, they're fun. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Have a good one.